Runs over 100 miles per hour on paved roads revealed directional stability as straight and taut as a banjo string. Turnin was crisp and confident. While one Euro spec RTN we drove on this coarse textured pavement showed an oiling tire tread buzz and interior boom, that behavior largely disappeared when we switched into the US market edition equipped with all season Continental 245-45 R18 radials. Electronically variable dampers, what VW calls dynamic chassis control, can be switched through comfort, normal, sport, and individual modes. While calibrations aren't finalized and there's no guarantee these dampers will even be available on new S-Spec RTNs, our past experience with this Tenneco supplied technology has been so positive that we consider it essential gear for driving enthusiasts. Given VW's lead in the global rush to small hard-working engines, it's no surprise that the Arteon's initial power source will be a TSI 2.0-liter four-cylinder turbocharged to produce about 270 horsepower. Customer feedback from today's dual-clutch automatic-equipped VW CC says that such transmissions lack the expected roll-off smoothness. For that reason, the Arteon's trusty TSI engine will be teamed solely with an 8-speed torque converter automatic supplied by Isin. That gearbox behaved impeccably in Africa. In lieu of a manual alternative, last available in the 2016 CC, we at least get steering wheel paddles, a console shifter offering a manual mode, and a gear indicator in the instrument cluster. Try as we might. We discovered no way to avoid automatic upshifts when the tachometer needle swung past 6200 or so RPM during our test drives. Inside impressions. What we could see of the, camouflaged, interior trim was encouraging.